Hi, I'm Stock Investor Davis. Welcome to the channel. We're going to take a look at my current portfolio as of today using technical analysis only. Please subscribe. Here's the complete list of companies we'll look into. There are chapters below in the description if you want to skip ahead to a specific stock. As we review each company, I will give a color-coded rating of green, blue, or red, indicating a stock where I like the price, I'm okay with the price, or I don't like the price. Also, if you have a different opinion or question, let me know in the comments. Starting with AIR, $17. It recently broke below an area of support near $24 this occurring after reporting earnings the next area of slight support is 13 dollars if it continues lower i like the price moving to amd 146 dollars it's near the top of its marked uptrend noted since november 2022 signaling a previous overcorrection also getting ahead of our minor resistance levels near 120 and 130 i'm okay with the price next amazon 154 dollars it's continuing its uptrend that began in January 2023. It's near the middle of the uptrend indicated by our blue line. Not much resistance seen ahead other than the top of the range, which is $161. I'm okay with the price. Looking at Apple, $185. It's within a marked uptrend beginning in August 2020. It's on the bottom half of that uptrend, the top being 201 and the bottom is 177. Some resistance near 195. I'm okay with the price. Moving to ASML, $713. It's actively near the top of the uptrend beginning in January 2019. The top of the range being 704. It has run into slight resistance around 744 in the near past. We'll see how it responds in the near term. While it's more common for the stock to go above our marked uptrend, uptrend range, in the near term, I don't like the price. Shifting to Builder, $167. It's up above its uptrend range marked since January 2020 and accelerated uptrend October 2022. The top of the accelerated uptrend is 137. I don't like the price. Next, Bitcoin, 41,800. It is and has been above the top of our current uptrend, which began in November 2022. It's been above the range since November 2023, the top of the uptrend range being 37,000. It's also running into some resistance near 44,000. I don't like the price. Looking at DraftKings, $33. Its stock price is breaking below its January 2023 uptrend. The bottom of the uptrend is $36. We note light support around $32 and more support around $27. I like the price. Now on to Enphase, $110. This company has been in a downtrend since September 2022. Multiple times it appeared to find support and then continued lower. It's near the top of the downtrend, which is $113. I'm okay with the price. Next, Google, $142. It's currently on the bottom half of its uptrend that began in January 2023. The bottom of the range is $139. I like the price. Switching to Intel, $47. It's maintaining its uptrend beginning March 2023 and currently above the range, which has a top of $43. Also, there are multiple points of interest in the 40s of previous support and resistance. Because it's exceeding the uptrend range, I don't like the price. Next, JBL, $128. This stock is within its uptrend range beginning September 2022, the top being $133. And it's slightly above the uptrend range starting March 2020, the top being $122. I'm okay with the price. Moving to Laser. $2. It's currently maintaining a downtrend since December 2020 and near the center of the range. The price is okay. Next, Lynn, $408. Continues its uptrend that began in March 2016 and currently near the top of the range, which is $412. The bottom of the range is $374. Because of the uptrend, I'm okay with the price. Moving to Meta, $374. Its uptrend continues after starting in November 2022. The bottom of the uptrend is 343 and the top of the range is 402. 
Some support noticed at 317 and some resistance at 343. I'm okay with the price. Next, Merck, $118. It's currently above the top of its consolidation range between $100 and $115, established November 2022, support being at 100 and slight resistance at 108 and 115. I don't like the price. Looking at Microsoft, $388. It's near the bottom of its uptrend since January 2023, the bottom being 392. It's added some resistance near 376. Because of the noted uptrend, I like the price. Moving to Netflix, $492. It's continuing its uptrend starting in June 2022. The bottom of the uptrend range is 456 and the top is 511. The price is okay. Now with Nvidia, $547. It's currently dipping below its current uptrend beginning January 2023 and has broken above some resistance noted near 488. Because of the uptrend, I like the price. Looking at Oust, $6. It's been consolidating primarily between $3 and $6 since April 2023, support being near $4 and resistance at $6. Because it's near the top of our consolidation range, I don't like the price. Next, QQQ, $409. It's currently on the bottom half of the uptrend range established October 2022, the bottom being $385 and the top being $431. The price is okay. Moving to Shopify, $81. It's maintaining its uptrend since October 2022. After dipping below the uptrend during September and October of 2023, the bottom of the range is $73 and the top is $83. I'm okay with the price. Switching to Supermicro, $339. It's exceeding the slight uptrend noted uh, range beginning June 2023. The top of the range being 318 and the bottom is 270. Also, we note some decent resistance near 286. Because of its above this uptrend, I don't like the price. Next, Tesla, $218. Since mid-October 2023, it has been below the marked uptrend beginning January 2023. The bottom of the uptrend is 277 also identifying a slight downtrend since July, the top of the downtrend being 246. Currently, the price is favoring the downtrend ideology, previous light resistance around 254. Strong support is seen near 214. I like the price. Looking at TSM, $101. It's on the bottom half of the uptrend beginning November 2022. Alternatively, it has been trading primarily between $85 and $104 since January 2023. Both viewpoints appear reasonable because of the uptrend perspective. I'm okay with the price. Next, UNH, $521. It's currently on the top half of the consolidation window we marked since December 2021 between $454 and $541. We also marked a potential uptrend that began in July 2023. $529 is the bottom of the new uptrend if it holds up, and $568 is the top. I like the price. Lastly, VOO, $437. It's reaching new all-time highs. It's also near the bottom of the October 2022 uptrend, which is $448 and is back closer to its January 2016 uptrend, the top of that range being 422. The price is okay. That's a wrap for this week. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.